Hey guys, so I am looking for creepness stuff at Walgreens in this video and you're gonna see a lot of it. Look at me, I'm just snatching stuff from the shelves and putting it in my basket. I've never picked up a basket at Walgreens before, I didn't even know they had them, but I went a little bit crazy in this video. I picked up that Oogie Boogie that you saw back there, I got the Jack and Sally small dolls, I got the Sally cup, I didn't pick up the vampire teddy because I already have a couple vampire teddies, so I didn't really need him for any of my displays. Maybe next year. We'll see what happens if I find somewhere new to put him. I do have the Jack Santa cup, but I was thrilled to find that zero cup, so I definitely took that home. And I actually found some Nightmare Before Christmas stuff even in the greeting cards. I found some wrapping paper I had never seen before. I picked up a Sally Nutcracker that you do not see in this video. They sold out, but don't worry, I already got it. I also got the Jack Snowman, even though I feel like you could do a really cool DIY for a Jack Snowman, but I just got him because, oh my gosh, I was in love when I was there. <laughs> see, after the pandemic, I wasn't really able to find any Nightmare Before Christmas stuff in stores. My stores are barren for some reason now. So I was absolutely over the moon. I did take those lights home with me, but I didn't record it. I didn't get the black tree because I'm looking for some larger black trees that I'm gonna put on each side of my bench out front. And I have so many Jack Skellington socks that I didn't get these. Now this was my dream come true. When I saw these little gift boxes, I just had to get them, especially there was only one of each. I left the Oogie Boogie behind because I have so many Oogie kind of decorations, but the Zero, <laughs> no. I was not going to pass up on that guy. These are heavy, by the way. And I got the Jack, of course. I already have a Jack Greeter that I got from CVS, which is much larger, so I didn't bring him home with me. In this video, you're actually going to see some Disney stuff too, because I know there are probably some Disney fans following me, and I did spot some Disney wrapping paper and stuff like that, so I go through the entire store and do a deep search, because sometimes you will find Nightmare Before Christmas stuff that isn't in the holiday section, so you do have to look around. I'm thinking about getting a train, like a full train with train tracks to go around my tree, but I kind of have to go see it in person. I know they have one at Walmart. I just want to see if it's good quality or not. kind of looked like it had stickers on it, so I didn't like that idea. But... Are you guys looking for a specific item? If you want me to pick it up for you, I can definitely sell it to you on Poshmark. I know how sucky it is when you go to the store and the stuff is not there. Gosh, it sucks. The Walgreens website is so horrible. It's never accurate. You'll go to the store and there will be either nothing that they said was there or so much more than they said was there. But you can save 15% or something right now if you do a pickup order, but again, it's not very accurate, so there's my tip to you. I think these cards would be really cute for a scrapbook. I think I only have like one person or two people that I can send cards to. I wish that CVS had a website that would allow you to order things on it, like as far as Nightmare Before Christmas. Instead, you have to go to each and every store. You know I'm going to go to Ross um, looking for a Nightmare Before Christmas carpet or rug, whatever doormat you want to call it. I did find one at this store, though. I was so lucky. There was only one, and I brought it home, and it made my freaking month. But I know that Ross has some for like under $10. The one I bought was $14.99. And at the end of this video, if you stay to the very, very end, you're going to see 
my little coffee corner decorations. I got these three figurines to go on my, um, what are they called, tier trays. Be careful, because if you drop them like I did within the first five minutes of owning them, <laughs> they will break. So I accidentally broke Jack's little coattails off, but I'm going to glue them together with E6000. He should be fine. Anyway, you guys should follow me or subscribe if you like all things Creepmas because I definitely do. Because you know how hard it is to get over Halloween when it's over? Oh my god, it's the most depressing thing ever, isn't it? But this kind of helps me roll over into Christmas and truly get my spooky fix. I don't think that I would like to celebrate Halloween all year round because then it wouldn't be special anymore. Do you guys like videos with music or narration or both or just all silent or what? Let me know in the comments below. I do have a couple things on my front porch from Burlington. If you watch my previous Burlington videos, you'll see some Nightmare Before Christmas decor there. I thought this was way overpriced for $20. I know it lights up, but no. I'll probably have to stop in Walmart and see what they have, even though the website in my area said they didn't have much. This guy's face lights up. You probably can't see it in the video. I have to switch hands here. <laughs> there we go. He, he lights up and plays music, actually. I like my Oogie Boogie. I was just showing you how thin the beard was, in case you were wondering. They also had a hat that was like Sally's dress with stitches, and I brought that home with me. I couldn't really justify getting two Sally hats, but I really wanted to. <laughs> and I already have a Jack hat too that I got from Five Below like last year, so I left those there. Stockings, I don't really need them because Santa is not coming to my house, <laughs> unfortunately, but are these amazing or what? Oh my goodness. So many ornaments. I think they're cheaper at Five Below, so I'll check out Five Below. And it seems like Hogwarts is really popular this year. I don't know if I'm just noticing that and it's always been popular, but... There was a lot of Hogwarts stuff there, but that's not what I was focused on. Like these little jack heads, I think those are at five below for five bucks. And they had some really adorable stocking or i'm sorry hats there christmas tree hat like sequins hats oh my goodness i loved them but i already have quite a few hats <laughs> and ties the cup in my hand i don't know where that's from my mom got that for me so sorry And I'm, look, you have to like dig and look, you guys, because there will be secret stuff hidden in the store in different spots. Like when I went to go do a pickup order at Walgreens, they couldn't even find the stuff. I had to point it out to them. <laughs> so, yeah. 
they don't have oh there's the hat that i that i bought i bought that too so i bought a lot of stuff you guys and i hope you enjoyed this video i'm probably gonna end by showing you some disney stuff here and until next time follow your bliss for me that is creep miss because normal christmas is just way too boring